Oh, hey, nice to see you. Could you tell me what time is it? Well, it's Bun O'Clock. Bun 1.0 is finally out and I apologize for that pun, by the way. And it makes huge claims in terms of performance. There's a gazillion new features with Bun 1.0 and in this video, I'm gonna show you my three favorite ones. To start off, let's start with the use of standard web APIs like request and response and why that's so useful, especially for Next.js developers. When we spin up a server in Bun, we can use the Bun serve to do just that. It's really easy syntax. This just works out of the box as long as you install the bun types, but if you use bun init, just like npm init to initialize your project, this is all done for you under the hood. We can add a port to our server that we want to serve from, and this uses the standard web APIs in the fetch request. So for example, when a get request is made, we can use the new response that you're used to, probably from Next.js 13 that uses the same API to return responses. Now to to see if our server is actually serving anything, let's log it out in the console by listening on localhost and then whatever the port is, and then we can run bun run, that's like npm run, it's the same thing, it's a plugin replacement for npm, and then index.ts. .ts, by the way, works out of the box, no extra configuration needed, we can just run a TypeScript file like that, which is a really nice feature to have nowadays, and we can see listening on localhost 3000 just as easy as that. If we curl this endpoint, HTTP, localhost 3000, we're gonna see the response, welcome to bun. And this is the same thing as the Next.js APIs for requests and responses. So for example, the body, const body is gonna be the same thing as rec.json and we can await this operation by turning this into an asynchronous function up here. And similarly, if we want to return something different on post requests, which is almost always the case, of course, we can check the rec.method to do that and triple check if that is of type post. And if it is, then we're gonna return a new response saying post and we're gonna see post. Awesome. And you know what bun 1.0 also has? It's a built-in bundler that can be incredibly useful, especially if you're familiar with developing NPM packages, you know how useful that is. Let's see it. To spin up a bundling script, it's incredibly straightforward. At the top level, we can have a try catch block and we're gonna try the bun.build. That's gonna do all the magic for us. As an entry point, we want the server we have just created together. We want the output to be in a build folder and also also, we want to minify its built-in. There's a lot of other options like uh, splitting, for example, which is also sometimes really useful. Anyways, if there's an error, we're gonna log it out. And finally, we're gonna log done. And we can easily run this file. Let's stop this process right here by saying bun run bundle.ts. TS just works out of the box. It says hashtag done. I'm not sure why it says hashtag. Oh, I typed that in. And anyways, we can see the output right here in our build folder, just like that all built in and it just works. Okay, and lastly, JSX support out of the box. TSX, JSX, doesn't matter, huge one for me, let me show you. Yeah, this also just works. You can just start writing your components as long as you have the React types installed. For example, this component right here, we can give it props, a message as a string, and then we can just display some JSX, or in this case, HTML, I guess, whatever you want to call it, where we display the props.message. Again, as long as you have the React types installed, this just works out of the box. Okay, that's really, really cool. Those were my top three picks. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Maybe you find something else way more interesting entirely. There's a gazillion other features like a test runner that I personally don't find too interesting. Yeah, they're really fast, but they're not a huge deal to me. Maybe they are to you though. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you gonna use Bun 1.0, I'd be super interested in hearing your thoughts. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one and bye-bye.